All right, hello, boys and girls, moms and dads. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is fifth grade English, week number 27 and day number one. All right, so today, today is going to be um, all about reviewing the work that we've done for the past nine weeks, especially in the vocabulary building section of day one. Okay, so all through for the past nine weeks, we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot of new words, potentially, I mean, words that you may not have heard of before. So what we want to make sure right now is in this week, can we take a moment to take a look at those kind of words again? Um, do we have an opportunity to look at those kind of words and make sure that we solidify them in our vocabulary? That's going to be what we are going to be doing into this lesson. So um, how, how is that going to go? So you're going to take any word here, and moms and dads, you're welcome to help them as well to uh, make sure they can retain these words in their vocabulary. So take a complex word like orchestrate. So you're going to go to your dictionary. You're going to type that in orchestrate, and then you enter on it. You're welcome to use dictionary.com or your paper dictionary. But the beauty about dictionary.com is it gives you an opportunity right now to click on this audio button. Orchestrate. Click on this audio button, you're going to see um, how it's pronounced. Orchestrate. Orchestrate. How? Orchestrate. And the, the word orchestrate over here is a verb. It means to compose or to arrange for performance by an orchestra. But then there's another meaning of it here, it means to arrange or to manipulate, especially by means of clever, or thorough planning or maneuvering. To orchestrate a profitable trade agreement, okay? So that, I believe, is going to be more closely related to what we talked about in one of the, one of the texts that you read with us. So it's a verb, it's used with or without an object, and in the IPA version of it, this is the way it's going to be pronounced okay you're going to see this little backward c <laughs> and then there's going to be an apostrophe in front of it letting you know that you are going to place emphasis on the first syllable and then the lower apostrophe over here means you are going to de-emphasize the last syllable orchestrate all right in the phonetic respelling of it it looks pretty much like this all right so go ahead and try to do that exercise then let's try to take another word Another word like uh, which you may not have heard of before. Let's see the word like grandeur. This grandeur is not really a popular word. Uh, I'm going to try to restart its uh, dictionary.com. Let's see what grandeur means one more time. All right. Grandeur. Well, grandeur is a noun and it means the quality or the state of being impressive or awesome. When you click grandeur, right over or here, grandeur, grandeur, or grandeur, okay. grandeur, or grandeur. So that's the way it's sounded over there for you. If you click on the IP version of it, it's going to be spelled this way. And it means the quality or the state of being impressive. The grandeur of a prose style. All right. So um, that's what I'd like for you to do today, boys and girls, if you're watching with me. Moms and dads, please go ahead and help them with these words. Help them to retain these words and try to use these words in sentences. And when you do, you would have grown your vocabulary, your bank of vocabulary a little bit better. All right. Would you do that for me? I am trusting you will. Well, that's what I got for you today, boys and girls. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born.